What's up YouTube? It's Torha and I'm bringing you our third episode in our Cube World Let's Play. And recently I came back to town after hitting level 4 to uh, pick up, uh, to basically sell our stuff and now we get to test out our hang glider. So we need to find a nice tall mountain to go climb real fast. And I think that's going to have to do for now. What I want to do is uh, I want to go and find another city. So I'm thinking that we'll go this way. So we'll head over to that mountain range. There. Actually, we'll go that way. So we'll head over this way to a big mountain range. And then... Yeah, yeah, that'll be perfect. Go to the top of that mountain range over here, and then just jump off, and see where it takes us. Uh, I got new weapons. I'm using these little uh, battle-tested iron fist, which I enhanced with some extra iron to make them do more damage. So it should work pretty well for us. We don't want to kill a turtle. We like the turtles. Alright, climb, climb, climb. Alright. And we're at the top. So we're going to go this way here. So let's go ahead and break out the this. And let's go ahead and fly. We don't want to run out of all of our stamina, otherwise I've noticed, I've seen videos where if you run out of stamina, you start spiraling downwards. Oops, and I fell. So, you can't really fly too well. Maybe if we have better, um... Maybe if we have better, or add more points to it. Yeah, I bet as we add points to the flying speed that are flying, that we're able to hang glide longer. Um, so that's what we're going to end up doing is adding to it. But yeah, it's still, it's pretty cool being able to hang glide. Um, you can kind of skip, skip some areas, or at least just jump over. Travel a bit faster. It's kind of cool. Uh, I do want to unlock the ability to use the boat because I've noticed that there is. Uh, I've been looking at other at what you can find in the world, and there's oceans. So I'm thinking that oceans would be cool to explore, but we'd want a boat to do that. Now, normally when there's a bat around, there's also ores, but I don't see any ores this time. Make sure I'm going the right way. All right. So the guy, the goal right now is just to level again and to find some more, find another city. Actually, I want to find another city. See if I can get me some. Uh, some more recipes for making armor and weapons. And I also want to just see what the world generates for us. Maybe we'll climb to the top of that big mountain over there and fly again. Oh wow. Is he going to try to eat me? He's going to try to eat me. Oh wow. That tickles. Run away. Yeah, that didn't feel very good. I'm not high enough level to take out the bear yet. Run away! Run, 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 run! Go, 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 go! Wait, what are you? You're a pig. Alright, maybe if we get to the top of this hill, yep.
Oh, I see. You just press the space bar to keep going as long as you can. Well, that's not too bad. I think we're free of the bear, at least. Alright. Hey, look, it's a witch. She's a witch, Bana! How do you know she's a witch? Because she looks like one. She turned me into a new. A new. I got bad. I love that movie. If any of you guys know the reference, post it in the comment section below. And on the next video, I'll tell you what it was. Alright. Climb the mountain! Go, go, go! Score. Maybe if we go over here. I really do like this game. I find it to be really entertaining, really fun. Um, and just... I'm not bored with it yet. You know, sometimes you get bored of the game because it's just... You've already done everything, or you can't find anything new to do. Ah! Why? I should not be dizzy. I landed. I'm waiting for my stamina bar to regenerate. And then we'll jump again. See if we can't land gracefully this time. Sweet! Graceful landing. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Cow. Four experience? Not bad. I like my, uh, my damage I'm doing right now, though. Wow, if only I could use a giant sword like that. I'm wondering if you can like create a chest or something eventually and share items with characters in your worlds. Because I know you can play the same world as a different character. So I'm wondering if eventually they'll make it so you can share stuff between your characters in, in the worlds. That would be kind of cool. So some of these really awesome items I pick up, I could leave in a city somewhere and share them with another character I make, and, and they could pick them up when they get to that city or something. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Um, but we'll see. This game is still in its early development phase, which is, I think, awesome, because it gives me a chance to play it and to see it grow, which I really I really like that aspect of Minecraft. Uh, being able to watch the video game grow and to be part of that, to, to experience the changes and to, to, be, to be able to just enjoy it. Hey! You're not supposed to attack things that are cute. You jerks. Attacking stuff that doesn't hurt you. Oh, wow. I should have healed. I will find you, and I will kill you. Hi, wizard. And you're stunned. And you're stunned too. You mess with me. Don't mess with me. I mean. There you go. It's right. Alright, now we gotta find where we were. Where they killed the cute little innocent thing. Horses! You know, I still haven't figured out what horses need to be tamed. Oh, let's see, what do I even have to tame animals with right now? Wow, I got mango juice, chocolate bar. You know, maybe I should find out what these do. I'm gonna pause the game real quick, you guys, and check on check this out. All right, you guys. Um, mango juice apparently is for a bat, and the chocolate bar is for a plains runner. So if we see a plane runner or a bat, we should try to tame it. And the lollipop, of course, is for an owl. I'm not sure what the horses are just yet, but I don't really care about that. Because this poor horse is going to be toast. And 
And I don't know where we... I think it was probably back this way. I don't really want to run back that way, so... We're just going to move on. Oh, except for I want the cotton plant. I need cotton in order to make armor. Because you turn the cotton into little threads, and then you can create armor for this class. Uh, the different classes use different um, uh, different materials for their armor. Like the mage uses the spider, the cobwebs, and turns it into silk. Uh, the rogue uses um, the cotton. Uh, I'm not sure what the other ones quite use. I'm pretty sure they probably use iron or something. Uh, the ranger... The ranger might use cotton too, I'm not quite sure. I know, I think the warrior uses iron for their armor. Um, but it's alright. Since I'm not playing a warrior right now, I don't have to worry about it. It's a little easier for me to gather resources for my armor. Though I've gotten lucky, I found quite a bit of iron in my uh, travels. So I've been able to make some uh, some nice weapons. Like I made these uh, weapons I'm currently using. Oh, you know what? I need to make some water bottles. That I need. Because I need to be able to make some more potions, because I think I'm out of potions. And next time I find a campfire, I need to cook some more food up soon, too. I'm only going to do 20 of these. Alright, and potions. You know, I haven't found any prickly pears yet. But we can make five potions. All right, very good. So we have bombs, we have muffins, we have life potions. All right, we'll leave it on the potions for now, since we need those if we're running. I'm not going to worry about healing just yet, because I'm still not low enough to worry about it too much. Uh, if I do get any lower, I will uh, hopefully find a, a bed well to sleep on. I'm hoping we can find ourselves a village here. Wow, you're a tough one. Almost. Yeah, I might actually cut away here until we get close to another town. Because uh, I know it's, it gets kind of boring watching somebody run around constantly just attacking random things. And I don't want to make you guys endure that pain and suffering. I know how terrible that would be. Um, so, I'm probably going to actually do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and cut here. And as soon as I find myself a uh, another city, I will cut back to you guys and let you, and show it to you guys. So I will be back momentarily. Alright, uh, you guys. Um, looks like we found a castle looking thing. Probably one of those dungeons. Uh, so let's go explore it. Hopefully it's not too much above us, because uh, if it is, then I don't really want to take a chance, because I'll just die repeatedly to witches with laser beams. Huh. I ran into a group of witches, and I wasn't recording unfortunately, but they shot me with laser beams. Witches should not have laser beams. It is not right. Laser beams, no. Alright, where is the entrance? Give me an entrance! Oh, yeah. Oh, they're all red. Yeah, they're like two levels ahead of me, it looks like. Oh yeah, and there's an ogre in there. Uh-uh! Oh, no, 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 no! Run, run, run! Run your pretty little pants off, buddy, because those things will kill you. Across the water. Yeah, go ahead. Try to keep up with me.
I was right. Well, I can kill you guys. That's right, suckers. Don't mess with me. I just can't take on the big ogre dude or the guys are right on their names. Woo! That was close. We could have really died. A lot. I tried fighting the ogre once. It lasted one hit from him. Yeah, not a pretty not not pretty at all. Alright, let's see if we can get a good vantage point where we're at. Alright. Well we can always try that dungeon that way. See if it's any easier. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So we're gonna head this way and when I get there I'll be back with you guys. I found a cave. Thought you guys might like to uh see what I find. Alright, and let's turn on the light. Gold? Silver, huh? And a bat. I'm supposed to be able to tame these bats at some point. I wonder if I can tame the bat without it being... I wonder... Sweet! You can tame the bat before it gets all aggressive. Nice. I'll have to remember that, because there's other things I want to tame. That I haven't tamed yet, because... They're always red to me. But it looks like you can tame things that are red. Because if you have their food, they become friendly. Very nice. And does it extend? It does not. Alright, so... Cool, we got a bat pet now. And we went through a pretty long cave. I want to find some more emeralds, because you use emeralds to make the green armor. And so without the emeralds, you can't really make any of the uh, green armor. So I need to find more emeralds so I can make the uh, green armor and weapons. And by green, I'm talking about... Um, these ones here, where they require emeralds. Oh, hey, look. A little more cave over here. Sweet! Alright, let's see. What do we got? This would be... an iron deposit. I don't know what those little glowy mushrooms are going to be used for, but I pick them up. Alright, that, so that looks like it was it. So, I want to find an owl, because you can use the lollipop, of course, to tame an owl. I'd be curious if anybody else gets the reference for that. I don't want to fight you, you might beat me up. Oh wow, I did win. Nice. I wouldn't mind having one of those guys for a pet. Those guys hit hard. Alright, am I going the right way? Looks like we're going towards a lake. So, let's go check out this lake. See, a lake would be where I would like a boat. Instead of, uh... Having to swim it or jump through it, I like a boat. It's a big lake. I wonder if the bat can fly with me. That'd be kind of cool. And so I gotta defeat the ruler of the lake, huh? Hey, look, it's a crab. 
Come on, Mr. Bat, help me kill the crab. Alright. Three experience, huh? Let's go back up to full health real quick. Can we make some more potions? We can. The potions are good because you can use them in battle, where food you have to sit down and eat. So food is good when you're not fighting, but potions are best when you're in battle. Oh, I didn't know crabs. You're not allowed to have buddies that spit stuff at me. Wow. So those spitter dudes hurt. You must die. Oh hey, I'm at the bottom of the water. I didn't realize I was on the water until just now. Ah, rats. Alright, maybe we don't want to take on the lake just now until we get more levels. Because this lake is not nice to us. We might want some help. I don't want to fight them again. They're mean. They shoot stuff at me. You know, revenge. That's what I'm going to talk about. Alright, got one. Alright, knock it off. Score! What'd you drop? Salted caramel. What are salted caramels good for? Salted caramel. Those are for seagulls. Oh, looks like my game froze. I'll have to uh, reload this. Alright, it looks like I'm back now. For some reason my game froze and locked up on me, which... I don't know why. But, we're back. And... Those are friendlies. Oh, can't pick up any more of those. Where's our bats? Peacock. How do I tame a peacock? I think a chocolate cookie. A croissant. I wonder what a croissant tames. Let's see. I'm not sure what the croissant tames. I know the soft ice is a penguin. The lollipop is an owl. The caramel chocolate bar I'm not quite sure on. I'm not sure on the croissants either. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure on these ones. Alright, again, I'm back. For some reason, it likes to crash on me. But I noticed I had some uh, some other processes running that might have been causing an issue, so I went ahead and closed those out. Hopefully it fixes it. Uh, let's see. And of course, it unloads the map we had explored. 
Because I think it regenerates those chunks if it crashes and we run back over there. So that's alright. Let's go ahead and head towards... We're going to head this way. So I'm going to see if I can find us a, another village here and I'm going to ignore the... Um, I'm going to ignore the dungeons for now and hopefully find us another village to explore. I'll get back with you guys momentarily. I still haven't found a, a new village at our new land, but I'm like one kill away from uh, leveling. I wanted to share that with you guys. Or maybe two kills. Still, I'm not very far. I'm at one, yeah, one more kill level. Man, 179 out of 180. So let's find us a uh, helpless something to kill, or a not so helpless something to kill. Oh look, it's a dungeon. And seriously, I wasn't even trying to find one of these things. I'm just running in a direction trying to find a new land so I can find a new village. See if they offer any new things to sell. Weapons or whatnot. And with him being red, let's hope that the village, or not the village, but the dungeon is not as formidable as the last one. We shall find out momentarily. Semi Palace. And yeah, they're all gonna kill me. Unless we level. And then we'll see. Sweet! We leveled. Are you still ah, they're still red. Plus three. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna avoid that, but so I can add more to the hang gliding. Or we can add to our, we can get our intercept ability so that we can do more damage. So I think I'm going to go with intercept for now. Um, I want to give us, get us into these trees here so we can do more damage. Uh, that'll help us be able to take on more of these um, dungeons later. And the map... And where to go, where to go? Red, all of us red. Maybe we should go back to Angor City and go opposite direction where we're going and see if that gives us any better. So I'm going to head that way and I'll get back with you guys when we reach the city. So apparently the Croissant tames a Scottish Terrier because I just tamed one. Now we have a cute little Scottish Terrier. <gasps> Ooh, silver deposit. Ooh, more. Mr. Bat! Alright, anything else down here? You know, like more silver or iron or emeralds? Emeralds, maybe? No. Lame! Alright. So, we are heading towards the city, and we're still a ways away, but we're getting closer. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Oh, look, more things to kill. I wonder if we can tame a hornet as a pet. That would be kind of cool. I had a bear chasing me earlier. Bears are jerks. I want to be able to kill a bear eventually. Maybe once I'm like level 10, who knows. Um, but for now, we're just, every time I get a chance, I've been hang gliding across uh, gaps. And I hit my shins and hurt. Uh, that way I can at least travel a little bit faster to get there. Uh, I hate running in this game at night because you can barely see anything. Oh, wait, maybe we should rest though. Okay, we're full health. Uh, because running at night is really kind of a pain. Uh, you can't see much ooh, orcs. I can't help it. I must kill him. <laughs> yeah, I was right. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Kill it. 
No, no special attack for you. That's right, sucker. You died. To my awesomeness. <gasps> Ooh, it's an owl. Yeah, we can do this one. Lollipop. If you guys ever seen those uh, Tootsie Roll commercials, how many legs does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I bet that's where he got it from. We now have ourselves an owl. And we're at Fallon Lake. I didn't want to go to Fallon Lake. I want to go this way. Go that way. Okay. What's cool is you can orient yourself on the map. Um, so you can go the way you want. Because uh, those crabs are going to kill us if we try to find this lake right now. And night in this game lasts forever. I still haven't figured out how long it actually lasts for because I haven't timed it. All I know is it lasts quite a while. And I really don't want to run around at night because it's hard to see anything. Um, so I'm going to keep running to the... Uh, I'm going to keep heading towards heading towards uh, Angor City. And when I get there, I'll be And it looks like we're almost back because I see the uh, road. And I saw some uh, crops. Woo! We're back. Yeah. At least we can make it daytime again. Got to find the inn, though. Oh, Mr. Inn, where are you? Well, once you get to the inn, make it daytime, we can go sell some stuff and try to make some more armor. Now why I'm here. Wow, managed to get 23 of these things. I have noticed that when you hear that little ding sound, it's because you actually... Uh, you get two instead of one. Oh, I can't carry anymore. I gotta actually craft some stuff now. Very nice. Alright, gotta find an inn. There's more than one around here. I just gotta figure out where the one where one is. Cause you gotta go in and talk to the innkeeper. And they will make it daytime. And luckily it says in right above the door, so they're easy to spot once you've found one. It's just a matter of finding one. And normally they're not this hard to find. Alright, you know what? We're going to do this. We can zoom in on the map. Alright, there's an end right ahead of us here. So it's not that building. Ah, here we go. And you. Yay, it's daytime! Woo! Alright, now we got a ton of stuff to look at. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Good armor. Good HP. Good critical. The only thing it doesn't have is the tempo. We might be able to survive without that. Yeah. I think we can survive. Oh, wow. Hang on. That was 19. That gives us the tempo. It gives us the armor. The resilience. The crit is a lot less, though. And that crit helps a lot. So we're going to use that one instead. Because it's better. Alright, we're in the trade district. So let's find ourselves the potions dude. Well, it's not really a potions dude. It just has a sh picture of a potion on the door. We'll go into him first. 
Because he's where we buy our formulas. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can get formulas from him, and the formulas let us make things. As long as it's for our class. Well, those are for power 20. This is why we got to find another city, because I can't really get anything else from him. I bought most of the stuff for my level. Which is kind of frustrating. I wish that this is like, you get new stuff when you come back after so long. But, it's alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go through my inventory, sell stuff. Um, oh, I want to show you guys this guy, leftovers. These are actually used with the identification dude. I've been waiting to get some of these so we can try it out. Alright, where's the identification dude? He has a magnifying glass or whatever it looks like on his door. Alright, there's the item vendor, the armor vendor. That's target practice. Maybe he's over here. Maybe. That's the inn. No, not this way. That's the other thing. I wish they had furniture in Minecraft. Like, real furniture you could just sit in randomly. That would be really kind of cool. You could actually really make an awesome looking village if you could put real furniture out. Now I have a park with benches and stuff. That'd be pretty awesome. At least in my opinion. I think it would be kind of cool. There it is. Haha, -ha, found it. Yeah, all right. Let's see. What you do is you come in here and you talk to this nice fellow here. And you right click on your leftovers and it'll cost you a little bit and you identify it. And identify it. it looks like we got iron gloves and a clean cotton shoulder armor. Which the shoulder armor isn't better than what we have now. So that's right, we'll just go sell it. Yes, yeah, so if you get leftovers in this game, find the identification dude because he'll tell you what it is. And normally it's an item or something. So, but anyways, um, I'm actually going to call it good here, you guys. I'm going to take care of the selling and finding and getting new armor. And then on the next episode, I'll show you guys what I managed to get together. And then hopefully in the next episode, we can go out adventuring and actually find a new city. Um, I might try to see if we can find a new land at least before then, so we have a good starting point. And then from there, we'll go find the city together. But anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and take care, everybody. Peace.